The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. We are University Christian Outreach. As UCO, we are called to let that light shine on campus. We are up against a culture that promotes self-satisfaction and worldly ambition and that doesn't seek after God. We are rallying men and women to be a community of disciples on mission for the Lord and for his kingdom. We are a community. We are committed to being there for one another as a freshman in college, it can be really difficult. You're facing a lot of pressures, and it's really helpful to have a community of people there to support you and help you follow the Lord. One time I had a really hard experience. It must have been like 10.30 at night, and I called my small group leader, and she not only picked up the phone, she came to my dorm, and she talked to me, and she prayed with me for a little while. And it was just a really concrete experience, um, a concrete example of how the Lord really worked through the community aspect of ECO. We're disciples, so we make a daily commitment to choose for Christ in our lives, and a lot of what we do is centered around that. Things like uh, morning prayer in the households or men's and women's group are really geared towards helping each other grow in discipleship. Personally, I've experienced a lot of growth in that and a lot of uh, maturity in my own knowledge of God and my own uh, character. We are on mission. Um, in the classroom, with my friends, in my UCO community. Uh, my faith gives me a greater sense of purpose in everything that I do. Uh, this past year specifically, the Lord has called me to lead a Christian group in the business school, um, to lead my friends in a Life in the Spirit seminar, and to serve on a mission trip to Costa Rica. And UCO has really given me a foundation to live a life of mission. UCO has concluded a year of fruitful service on campus. Some of the main blessings have been working with our huge staff team, one of the largest we've had in years, who have brought a lot of zeal and creativity and energy. Because of them, we've been able to host two Life in the Spirit seminars over this past year and reach the lives of many, many students. We were also able to put on uh, our first chapter retreat in many, many years uh, by our staff and students uh, that is going to be bringing about fruit for years to come. That's actually my main reflection, which is uh, the Lord's been planting seeds in our life and in our chapter that are going to be bringing about fruit and growth for many, many years. I want to thank you for your great support and prayer for us and our mission. I want to thank you as well for your great generous donations and the way you give financially. But I also want to thank you for the way you've opened your homes and your families to us. The, your service and your contributions strengthen our life in our chapter very, very much.